Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. If you recall in our last episode, we tested a variety of shot loads in this short barreled shotgun, and we found that buckshot really was not effective at more than about 10 yards because there's so few pellets per load, they were spreading out so much that the pattern density was so low beyond 10 yards you couldn't hit anything. Well, the other day I realized that steel ball bearings are actually cheaper per pellet than lead buckshot. So I went ahead and loaded up some steel buckshot rounds and because steel is a lot lighter than lead I can get more pellets per load and maintain the same uh, load weight. Uh, so we should get a little higher pattern density, a little more effective range. And that's what we're here to find out today is how they perform. So I've got targets set up down at 10, 20, and 30 yards. Uh, once again, we're using a one inch pine board, our standard lethality test. So let's see what we can do. So to start with, I'm using 5 16 diameter uh, steel ball bearings. That'd be probably comparable to double lot or triple lot buckshot, somewhere in that size range. Well, with the 5 16 shot, I'm still only getting holes in the target at 10 yards. So now let's try the quarter inch shot. That's a little smaller, a few more pellets per load, hopefully do better. Well, with the quarter inch steel buckshot, uh, I got several holes in the target at 20 yards and one hole right on the edge of the target at 30 yards. So still not as effective as number two birdshot, but definitely an improvement from lead buckshot in this application. <laughs> 